Hello and welcome Coastline family. Today we find ourselves in Deuteronomy chapter 7 where Moses is sharing God-given instructions with the Israelites as they prepare to enter the promised land. Moses tells them that God will clear away seven nations that are all larger and stronger than they are. And when God hands these nations over to the Israelites, they are to be destroyed, making no treaties and showing them no mercy. In other words, they were not to appease these nations in any way. God also told them that they were not to intermarry with the people of these foreign nations. In verse 4, we find out why. Because God knew that intermarrying with those nations would ultimately turn the Israelites away from Him and to their foreign gods. In Exodus 20 verse 5, we learn that our God is a jealous God not because he is envious or covets something that he wants or needs, but instead his jealousy is aroused when something is given away that rightfully belongs to him. In verse 6, Moses explains God's reasoning for being jealous. He says to the Israelites, For you are a holy people to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you to be a people for himself, a special treasure above all the peoples on the face of the earth. The key word here is chosen. To be chosen means to be selected or preferred above all the others. It's a very special thing to be chosen. It was Jesus who said in John chapter 15, verse 16, You did not choose me. I chose you. Christians, we've been chosen by Jesus Christ. When he died on the cross, we were purchased with the blood that he shed. Our hearts and our lives are no longer ours, but now rightfully belong to him. So when we intermingle ourselves with ungodly influences that are not of Him, it's then that we tend to stray from God. And that makes God jealous because He knows that your heart belongs to Him and He wants all of you every day. Making God jealous by our ungodly action is a very slippery and dangerous slope. Moses said in verse 5 that if the Israelite sons and daughters were turned away from Him through intermarriage, and they began serving the other gods, God would become so angry that he would destroy the Israelites. Now, I admit that keeping God's commandments is not an easy task. So I leave with you the commandment God gave Joshua. Be strong and have good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Know that you're not alone in this faith endeavor, but you do have to do your part. Keep your eyes open, protect yourself from the enemy, and be on guard against his ploys to derail your walk of faith. And always seek out ways to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. I am praying for you, and may our God always bless you.